In episode 6, we visit Lockton, aka Lock Douve, home of the TV series Hamish Macbeth. And from there, we head over to Sligachan on the Isle of Skye, where we'll camp for the night. A couple of fairly short drives today. We'll head off this morning from Balmacara, where we stayed last night, over to the lock side town of Plockton, and we'll take a look around there. Then we're going to head over to the Isle of Skye, over the Sky Bridge, up to Slagachan, which is where we plan to camp, and we'll pay a quick visit to Portree, take a look around there before we camp for the night. So I have this one, have the uh, Verb 360, the Garmin Verb, mounted on the outside of the car. It's going to get a nice rear view of the truck, but maybe it will get some interesting footage from the front camera. Again, it's an experiment. We don't know. It's the first time we mounted it on this vehicle. But we are about to leave the hotel where we stayed in Loch Alsh area. This is, um, what is the name of the hotel? It's the uh, Balmacara Hotel. And actually, interestingly, interestingly, um, when we arrived here, um, there was, uh, well, when we arrived it wasn't there, but when we got into our room, uh, we looked out of our window, and to our surprise, we saw Land Rover parked right below our window. It wasn't our Land Rover, and in fact, it was another vehicle from Scotland Overland, which is where we rented this. So, coincidence, we're on the west coast of Scotland. Scotland Overland is on the east coast. They are um, about 15 or 20 miles south of Edinburgh, and so yeah, sort of a coincidence, but I guess. Not too surprising. There was a pretty good gale blowing um, yesterday. It felt pretty wild even from inside the hotel. So um, I think a lot of people were just looking for cover, <laughs> including us. So anyway, we're heading now to Plockton. And uh, for those who don't know, Plockton is the uh, setting for the TV show Hamish Macbeth uh, wasn't called Plockton on the show and I forget what they actually uh, called the town on the show nonetheless that's where the town that's where the uh, show was filmed so we're heading over there it's about five miles away and uh, it's a pretty scenic place you can uh, find Plockton easily on the internet it has a lot of painted uh, multicolored sort of pastel painted cottages right there on the lock front. It is a sea lock, I believe. So we're going to go over there. Probably uh, it's a little early for lunch, but by the time we get there, there we go. It's my turn. Yeah. So uh, and we do have a single track road over here. Interesting. Most of the roads um, around this area were um, sort of uh, single carriageway, but you know, two way. Looks like this one is actually a single lane track, so that means they'll be passing places. Of course, I have a vehicle behind me, it's probably local wants to go twice the speed that I'm going at. Seems to be usually how this works.
Of course, I'm rabbiting on. I have no idea if it's recording me, if you can hear me, any of that. We did spend a little bit of time planning our sort of videography endeavours for this this trip because we knew that it would be very scenic. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, cattle grid coming up here. And we've got some local traffic. Oh, Plockton. That's interesting here. So, signs in Scotland have English and Gaelic, or Gaelic, I'm not sure which one. I'll find out. But the, uh, the, the Gaelic for Plockton is Flock, which is interesting because it's not a traditional name. I believe Plockton is named after a fellow called Plock, and it was his town. So they named it after him, or he named it, I'm not sure. So, it's interesting that there's Gaelic. But I suppose um, new words do get introduced to languages over time, and it's an example of such a thing. Okay, I have a narrow bridge here. I'm driving on the sidewalk. Actually, speed bumps coming into the village. It's interesting. I think this village is quite a tourist really spot because busy in the summer. yeah, it's probably busy in summer. It's uh, well known because of the TV show, and so I think people come and check it out because of that, um, including us. All right, about half a mile to go. It says should be down. The uh, most of, at least the most of the well-known part of the village is right on the lock front. So we're going to go down there, and um, yeah, we'll we'll see what the parking situation is like. This vehicle's not too difficult to park. It's actually a lot easier than my truck in the U.S. Not quite as big. Fictitious town of Lock Dub. Oh yeah, Lock Dub was the. I got a sign telling me to speed, to slow down. I love how the speed signs give you smiley faces. It's giving me a smiley face now. I was doing 22 miles per hour in the 20 miles per hour zone, so I won't do that again. Let's see, parking in 300 yards, is it the parking that we want? It might be. Let's see. Um, looks like a cemetery. I don't think that's the parking. That is a cemetery. So, yeah. Think we're oh, gonna have. Right yeah, looks like we found ourselves a waterfront parking spec. Yeah, right. So right. we're gonna go and park on the parking spec on the waterfront. Oh my God, this is and this hopefully is being picked up on the 360 camera, which is a little higher than the bumper mounted GoPro that we've been running. So. That should be quite scenic looking. Let me just check my alignment here. Pretty good. Okay, that's enough for now.
After spending a pleasant but slightly rainy hour in Plockton, with just enough time for a hot cup of tea and a buttered scone, we get back in the Land Rover and head over to Loch Alsh, to the Sky Bridge, and to the Isle of Skye. After checking out the campsite in Slagachan, we head up to Portree, which is just a few miles to the north, and uh, pick up a few supplies for the night. Take a quick look around here, and then we'll head back down to Slagachan and set up camp for the night. Tomorrow, which will be our next episode, episode seven, we're gonna head over to the fairy pools weather permitting. So hopefully the sun will shine and we won't get too wet. If you enjoyed the video, please like, follow or subscribe depending on your social media of choice. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.